So I asked uh, Afonso Salema, the Managing Director of Start Campus, to join us in this meeting and to tell us about uh, how uh, these, uh, this happened. And he, tell, he told me that actually I'm not going to do a presentation, a formal no. presentation, that I'm going to tell a story. And I, I'm sure, uh, coming from someone like uh, Afonso, it will be a great story. So, Afonso, the stage is yours. Thank you very much, Augusto. And thank you uh, also, José Barros and Anacom, for organizing uh, such, such an exciting and timely uh, event. Uh, the first one already post-pandemic, and it's a pleasure to finally be somewhere with real people and getting to, to know better the players in the sector. Um, I'm very excited to discuss uh, this hot topic, which is how connectivity and data come, come hand to hand. And, but like you said, I'd, I'd like first to start with a story. And this is the story of a very small town, uh, which was founded on 1802. This town was the quintessential rural life of the US. It had everything you could imagine, dairy farms, gravel roads, um, brick and mortar, brick and mortar uh, uh, grocery stores, small schools, and no more than 200 inhabitants. Then in 1885, something dreadful happened. The city council proposed to create a shopping center and 5,000 new dwellings. It was an uproar in the city. But people got used to it. They got used to the idea. And by early 1990s, that town had grown to 3,400 people. But that wasn't, that wasn't it. By late 1990s, a new event came that shook that town to the core. Equinix opened its first data center there. And uh, at the same time, the US telecommunications industry were developing and upgrading their infrastructure. And Equinix's choice was by no means a chance. They were close to Washington, and they could see the connectivity there, and they opened, um, and they opened that data center. Since then, that, data cent that, that town now hosts more than 100 large data centers. Uh, it delivers up to one gigawatt of power to the data center community. It has grown to 50,000 inhabitants and uh, rightly so has been dubbed the data center capital of the world. Uh, new CLSs have come, uh, new subsea cables have come uh, through Virginia Beach. And as most of you can imagine, this town that I'm talking to, that I'm talking of is Ashburn. Um, this success story cannot stress enough how connectivity and data come hand to hand. And this could be a potential binary factor on the success of the data center, but also an enabler of a data hub or a digital ecosystem. What I find interesting when I look at the Ashburn story and when, when I look at it at the origin, um, Ashburn was pointed out as an amazing site for four reasons. Since then, more, more have come, but four reasons were the main ones. First, the first of it was power. The, vil the sheer availability of, uh, of delivering power in Ashburn, that was 20% lower, uh, uh, co lower cost than uh, usually in the US, was a key factor. Scalability, it had land and areas to grow. Uh, it had water. Water that was coming from a river that was one hour drive from Ashburn, and it had connectivity. It was the first corridor of, of data. Um, all of these features are available here and now in Sinus, with a big difference. Sinus cannot perform all of them, seriously outperform all of them. In energy, Energy in Sinus can be delivered even cheaper than in Ashburn. And most importantly, green. We can deliver green energy here. And I'm not talking about greenwashing. I'm talking about direct renewable energy delivered to the data centers. Water, ocean cooling that Sinus offer can offer uh, many unique advantages to cool data centers. Scalability. Sinus is already an industrial zone with ample space to grow and with, um, with a specific mandate to allow infrastructures of this scale and nature to be deployed. 
and of course connectivity which I'll spend a little bit more time on. Connectivity has been an underrated topic in Portugal and when I start speaking with Augusto, uh, Augusto um, when we start looking at the project, we were surprised um, how the outside-in perspective was so poor. Um, the perception was that connectivity was poor and as probably all of, all of us in this conference know, that's just a perception issue. Uh, a perception issue that unfortunately has deterred further connectivity investment into Portugal and has uh, turned Portugal into watching traffic pass by instead of collecting it. And we cannot remain idle. Just watching more and more cables passing by with limited traffic entering the country and with limited applications in Portugal. It was, it, it was with great joy that I followed Ella Link's uh, decision to land in Sinej and how that decision has triggered a new profound thinking on the role of Portuguese connectivity and its place in the world. But that is not enough. Like in Ashburn, data was passing by and no one was using it. It has, you need, data needs a place to get in, be processed and be redistributed to the world. And that's exactly what we intend to bring with Sinus 4.0. We, Start Campus, a Portuguese company owned by US-based Davidson Kempner and UK-based Pioneer Point Partners, are developing this very large-scale investment of up to 3.5 billion in the development of an hyperscale data center that can grow up to 495 megawatts of power delivered to the servers. We aim to become a firm anchor in the global data centers networks and together with potential, um, with potential partners such as Ellalink and others, who want to join, truly develop an ecosystem that has ample room to grow and tackle data traffic coming from Europe, Latin America, Africa and the Middle East, and thus becoming truly the gateway for an explosion of transatlantic connectivity. Some, some of the big tech companies will tell you, well, Ashburn has other, other features as well, like local resources, local companies. The truth is, as Ash Ashburn didn't have those in the beginning, and it was the creation of such an ecosystem that brought all of those together into a single city. It now has two renowned universities. It has a wealth of companies working close by and delivering the services and the equipment that the data centers need. And it's one of the most relevant uh, points in the globe. And seen as can be too. But equally important, we aim to create an ecosystem that is green and sustainable. And this is a major concern of all the hyperscalers. And one thing I'd like to clarify, uh, I know Augusto, you understand that, but I don't think uh, some people appreciate it, is that our project is to serve the needs of companies such as hyperscalers. We will not offer co-location services. We are, uh, we are providing what is most needed to support the explosion of data uh, globally, which is state-of-the-art core infrastructure with all the bells and whistles that are required to serve, uh, to serve with high reliability, safety, and uh, in a sustainable way. We at Start Campus strongly believe that Portugal has a word to say about connectivity, the communication and access to this new world. Sinners in Portugal have good connectivity. Let's face it, it's actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, Portugal has great prospects of becoming the best Atlantic hub in a short time, but it has a serious perception issue. We need to change this by doing a better job at promoting Portugal's potential. And what does Portugal and seniors actually have to offer? Well, exactly what the market and upscalers are looking for. Clean, sustainable solutions, uh, price, safety and security. All of this is here. Hyperscalers now will have a solution for their demand located in a strategic point of Europe with all of this. And Carlos show, uh, showed um, a slide which was very interesting because on that slide, Portugal is in the center of the world. But when you look at how, how the data connectivity is, it's actually at, on a dead end. If you look, at, if you look back on, 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 on Carlos' slide, Portugal is the dead end of Europe. And that's just not the reality. All these cables are passing by and you just need to put a data point there for the data to get in. 
Synish 4.0 is a large-scale, 100% greed data center that responds to the needs of the global market. We have powerful advantages which make it a unique location and have the potential to host some of the globe's leading data centers. Synish is already a future success story, and that is why that, as we once did in the past, we can together connect and build the next stage of the country's history as, a, as Europe's landing point for global telecommunications. And what we want at Star Campus is to combine the needs of the new age of digital transition with the unique ge geography of Portugal and Sines. And by doing so, contribute to Portugal's energy, energy transition with net zero carbon footprint, while guaranteeing globally competitive energy prices, security, stability, and data safe safety and compliance. Thank you very much.